of a strike always lead to the same damn thing. It always leads to violence. It always leads to desperate people doing desperate things. Timmons, James Bay MPP Jill Bizon spoke to striking local 6,500 members at a rally held at the Coppercliff Smelter picket line yesterday morning. Bizon was joined by Nickel Belt MP Claude Gravel and Nickel Belt MPP French Gillenon. Well, we're here today for a very simple reason, and that is to call the government to take action in what's happening both here in Sudbury and what's happening in Timmins. In the case of Sudbury, we have a strike that's been on for seven months, Valley Inco that's refusing to come to the bargaining table, uh, and to make matters worse, they've ex decided to operate two mines utilizing scabs. That is not going to resolve the strike, it's going to prolong it, and quite frankly add to a lot of frustration that we already see in our communities. In the case of Timmins, the largest employer is shutting down the refinery smelter, 3,000 jobs direct and indirect are going to be lost. And what is in common between these two issues? The McGuinty government is nowhere to be seen. The McGuinty government is not pronouncing itself as trying to find a solution for neither Sudbury or Timmins. And I think it's incumbent upon them to be part of the solution and not to be innocent bystanders to what we see happening in our two communities. The politicians are urging the provincial and federal government to intervene in the strike. We've said uh, right from the start that the only way the strike can be settled is at the negotiating table and these uh, workers right now are, are frustrated, uh, they're upset because uh, Valley Inco refuses to go back to the uh, negotiating table and uh, uh, we, if they do go back to the negotiating table like uh, Extrata did uh, with CAW, there's going to be a negotiated settlement. I want Mr. McGinty and, the, and his government to take notice of what's going on in Sudbury. When they voted down the anti-scab legislation, they traced the path that we're following now because scab labor always bring long drawn out strike and an escalation in violence. And this is what we're seeing in Sudbury. Seven month strike and an escalation. Tempers are running raw. And if, when they turn down the anti-scab legislation, they laid the path to this. They have to take responsibility for their action. They have to come and help us.